for Shauna as for Sonia. Today we are at the Covington Civic Center getting ready for a wonderful event that's mm -hmm. happening this weekend, Ashana. That's right. It's Covington Comic Con time. You know, I'm excited to go inside or maybe to hang out here. The sun's pretty, you know? Yeah. Uh, to speak with Josh Mason and Tara Thompson and maybe a little bit of representation from Jerry Mason, maybe? maybe. A.K.A. Batman. Batman. Yeah, yeah. Are you ready? I'm ready. Y'all, come on. Tara Thompson, owner of Theo and Rose Ice Cream Parlor. We are here for the Com um, Covington Comic Con. And I'm Josh Mason. I'm the owner of Masonite Digital Marketing, and I'm also one of the organizers of Covington Comic Con. And my brother, who plays Budget Batman, Jerry Mason, is one of the other co-founders of Covington Comic Con, and he couldn't be here today, so we brought his stand in. <laughs> <laughs> well, Comic Con is a gathering of uh, people who are into different types of fandoms. So whether it be comic books, television shows, movies, video games, uh, just different types of like geek things and I use the word geek lovingly I don't think that's a bad term at all uh, you know because I'm certainly a geek I think Tara would agree that she's also a geek so uh, that's kind of what they are they're just these events that people uh, get to go and they can shop and there we have vendors and panels and special guests and uh, sometimes you'll have like actors from different TV shows and things show up and uh, we've got a really exciting guest lineup at Archon this year so it would be this Saturday August 20th and 21st from 9 to 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Saturday and 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. on Sunday. It will be here at the Covington Civic Center, 100 West Washington. We have a lot of vendors. I think we've got a lot more vendors this year than we even had last year. Vendors will be selling everything from comic books to arts and crafts, uh, just all sorts of things. Anything you can think of if you're like a geek like I am, uh, it's going to be paradise for you as far as the vendor room is concerned. And then we have panels throughout the day, so those panels will be everything from like Q&As with some of the special guests that we're going to have, as well as like a cosplay contest, so people who like to dress up will get to come and compete in our contest and win prizes. And uh, we'll also have a paranormal group here that'll be here to talk about like ghosts and things like that, so that's always really exciting. Uh, but it'll be a whole just really a crazy mixture of things that people can come and expect and sometimes there will be things that you don't expect there will be surprises and things so uh, yeah it'll be a lot of fun and uh, I think everybody will really enjoy it uh, so our special guests are gonna include Rick Prince who is a makeup artist and filmmaker uh, he's actually been featured on the TV show face off which is pretty cool we've got a uh, heavyweight champ Bam Bam Bundy who's a wrestler from the Tennessee Championship Wrestling uh, we have got, oh, who else, Tara? We've got so many I'm forgetting. Uh, uh, we have... Um, historical Haunts Memphis. Yeah, we yeah. have Historical Haunts. We have Ernest uh, Williams from uh, Florida that will be here. He's a writer. And we have... Jeffrey Nodelman, who is an animator who did uh, some work on the TV show Doug, as well as the animated series of Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Um, so, yeah, that's just a few of the, the guests that we're going to have. It's a really, really nice lineup of guests we're going to have this year. Mm -hmm. Basically, it's going to be a lot of Q&As with the panel, so it'll be Q&As with some of those guests, as well as the cosplay contest, and then we do have the paranormal panel with historical haunts. So it'll be a situation where some of them will be asked questions by the hosts of the panels, and then we will also turn that over to the audience, where the audience can ask the uh, guest questions. <laughs> Last year, we had uh, just about 3,000 people to come out to um, visit us. They came in from Illinois, they came in from Florida, Mississippi, all the surrounding areas. They, this year, we're expecting at least double that amount of people to come. How, <laughs> how this was birthed is um, January of two, 2021, I had a, a group of cosplayers to come out to the ice cream parlor to just have like an invasion on the square. I, I invited the kicking lawyer which is Budget Batman today, <laughs> I invited them out to come, you know, because, I mean, the kids, they loved it. And plus, we were going into COVID and just to have something fun to do for the kids so they just get out of the house and just have a good time. I got with um, Jerry Mason and Josh here, and that's how it was birthed. So I have been to several Comic-Cons over the years. I started going to Comic-Cons in 2012. Uh, my first Comic-Con ever was Memphis Comic and Fantasy Convention in Memphis, and uh, that kind of started me on this 
trend of uh, helping market and promote a lot of the local cons. And then I started to go into different cons around the nation. I've been to San Diego Comic Con recently. I've been to some of the cons down in Alabama and even Texas. And uh, so I've been to huge conventions. I've been to little bitty small conventions where, you know, they didn't have very many people at all. So I've kind of seen the ins and outs of all of them. And uh, I'm very pleased with uh, how ours turned out last year. Um, Cause I think with it being a small town here in Covington, I don't think any of us expected the turnout that we had. So it's certainly obviously not going to be as big as something like San Diego Comic-Con where they'll have like hundreds of thousands of people, but we're definitely on the small end either. So I'd, I'd kind of call us one of the like medium sized cons. The reason, reasoning why I wanted to do a, a Comic-Con here in Covington, I went to um, actually Bil Biltmore Estates and they on their um, town, um, downtown area, they had like comic uh, characters just doing like walking around the square promoting their con over at their uh, civic center. So uh, that's, I wanted to sort of bring that here. So, I mean, it's just a fun thing to do. And it, I mean, really uh, for me, a comic con is like a no judgment zone. Right. You can just be yourself. <laughs> and I mean, whatever yourself is, you're not gonna be judged. Before I did ice cream, I was in the technology world, I was in electronics. And growing up, I used to watch the cartoons, I used to uh, read the comic books. And I seen, uh, when you dive into a, a book, you, um, you are able to go to a world that beyond here. The science world, that's, was, that's pretty much the Comic-Con because they deal with science. They, de they deal with futuristic things. Yeah, I, I agree with Tara. And I think the best way I can describe it as far as being a geek, because I'm certainly a geek, is, you know, throughout high school and things like that, you kind of, sometimes you might feel like you don't necessarily fit in with certain groups. You don't fit in with, like, the football players or the people who do the sports and stuff like that. Because I was always into video games and movies and computers and all that super nerdy stuff. And then I remember the first con I went to back in 2012, it, it was like I had found my family, like I found my home because it was all of these people who had the same interest as me and uh, all these people were into all the same stuff. They were into all the same nerdy, you know, things that I was into. And so uh, to me, that's what being a geek is. It's just really anybody who's into, you know, comics or movies and has a passion for any of those kinds of things, you know, no matter what it is. Yeah. Covington Comic Con will be this coming up Saturday and Sunday, August 20th and 21st, from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Saturday, from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. on Sunday. It will be here at 100 West Washington Avenue at the Covington Civic Center. And a portion of the proceeds will be going to a local nonprofit. Um, and then we will also have some free events going on around the Comic-Con that I think we forgot to mention. Uh, which is we're going to have uh, film screenings. So that Friday night, we will have a Ghostbusters screening at the Ruffin Theater. And then that Saturday night, we're going to be having a screening of Superman. And admission to both of those events is free. Yeah. Also on Friday, we will have the Ghostbusters Ecto-17 yes. <laughs> car here on the lot. So the kids and the adults can uh, go and um, view the car before the movie. It looks like the Ecto-1 from the Ghostbusters <laughs> movie. Uh, so the admission is $10 per day. So $10 for Saturday or $10 for Sunday. Or if you want to do two day admission, it is just $15. You can get advanced tickets. You can get advanced tickets either at uh, Theo and Rose Ice Cream Parlor or at uh, HM Attorneys, um, which is uh, Jerry Mason's uh, law firm. Well, Sonya, what do you think? Well, I think me and Batman here, we're making a deal already. We've shook. That's right. It's a deal. That's it. It's I a think done so. deal. Yeah, yeah. Looking forward to Comic Con Haywood style, maybe. Right. Yes. yes. Coming to Brownsville soon. That's right. You know, I, I think this is a wonderful thing for the city of Covington and Tipton County. Uh, and hats off to the sponsors and the event organizers. I think it's going to be wonderful. I do too, and I can't wait for this Saturday to come check it all out. All right. Don't leave me. I'm Pick not. me up, okay? I'm, I got you. All right. Until then. Until then. Bye, bye. y'all.